Finally tonight, its final cost may run to several billion euro, but a new smartphone app will allow users to find out which properties are reportedly owned by NAMA. And it's all for free. The application uses the phone's camera and positioning tool to superimpose a cartoon icon on the buildings. Welcome to NAMA land, where all that glitters is far from gold. Conor McGarrigal is our guide. He's developed a smartphone app which lets you see which properties in Dublin are reportedly owned by NAMA. The idea came from being reading all the reports in the papers and the media about NAMA and all the properties that were being, being bought up by NAMA. But there's no list and there was no way of seeing which ones were in NAMA and which ones weren't. So I decided to go try and find if I could find a list of these and then to, to make an app that you could use on your phone so that when you're wandering around Dublin, you could hold up your phone and your phone would tell you w which properties were in NAMA and which properties weren't. If the property has been reported as being in NAMA, a cartoon icon appears on the screen. I call him NAMA man, but he's based on the Monopoly man. He's the little guy with the top hat and the cane. And uh, I just thought that was fairly fitting because it seems like Dublin was a game of Monopoly for a lot of property developers. But in today's NAMA land, they like to look on the bright side, as Connor explains. Thing is, is that if we own NAMA and if all these properties are our properties, well then, you know, maybe you'll feel a little bit better if you can walk around and say, well, you know, I own all these buildings, you know, maybe things aren't so bad after all. And if that wasn't good news enough, NAMA land itself won't cost you a cent. You can download the app free of charge. Philip Bromwell, RTE News, Dublin.